Cancer. Hello everyone, welcome to your March forecast, that of 2015. Before we start today, there's a couple of little uh, news lines and I want to give a shout out to one specific person out there that has come to my attention, brought to me by many of you and thank you for that. But one of you out there, probably listening now, has uploaded, or should I say, downloaded my videos and uploaded them to their channel as their own content. And that's not cool. That's not the way we do it on YouTube. But to the rest of you, <clears throat> not even for you who, who did this, you might not you know, be well versed in how YouTube works, uh, but you're all free to take my channel and feature it as a favorite channel on your YouTube page, or you can embed the code and put it on your webpage. That is perfectly fine. But it is not cool to download and upload it as your own. So. Uh, hopefully you won't be doing that now for this month in March. I would rather not have to go around the whole YouTube system to get them down. So anyway, then the good news also here this month for you is that we have now a newsletter that I want you to sign up for. You're going to see the sign up form right here and uh, we are going to be giving away a free private reading every month. So when you sign up, we can draw your name and it's easy just your first name don't need the last name just your first name and your email and i want to thank all of you who's already found your way to my website even before it has been announced so there's already a huge sign up for it and the other good thing is it's when i address you here every month i do it through 12 different channels because you're in 12 different signs through the newsletter i can reach all of you with new content, new videos, which I will be posting and posting to the newsletter only. Not here on YouTube, but you will get those things, all those goodies here on the newsletter. So be sure to sign up here now. Uh, it's just to pause the video, click the sign up button, come back and then um, re-listen to what now is coming up for you here in March. Let's take a look at that. Hello Cancer, this is your March forecast and what an exciting month as far as work goes. So maybe many of you have already been, uh, should I say, scrambling for the key that can open up for, for new dimensions, new avenues as far as your career goes. And this month, Mar uh, Mars and Venus both are going to be here shining up and they'll also be joining up with Uranus, which denotes change. Now that change can be uh, what you yourself have been uh, aiming for to create the change so you're ready for it. And then sometimes Uranus comes with change that we do not know, you know, that sprung upon us. That's that unexpected surprise moment, right? So we're going to have that encounter here uh, later on in the month as well. But let's talk a little bit about Venus because Venus is love, it's romance, it's those things we desire and love to do. Uh, being in the sign of Aries gives you that much more oomph, drive, um, and the ability to initiate, uh, to be more bold and forward. Uh, so putting that in your career house, well, you might just be more bold here to initiate some conversations, perhaps, with your higher up, your supervisor or boss, and, and couple that along with Mars and Aries. Uh, Mars uh, rules that sign, so it's home here, it's extra boostful, and uh, so it's like you're launching yourself towards what Venus loves to do, and this would be the, the time of the year for you to really catch that train, uh, to get onto that super highway uh, of your career and embrace whatever changes come to you this month. It is there for a reason. Uranus changes up things because it knows what behooves us down the road. Now, when we initiate change, we're in control because we decided it, right? Uh, but as we know, is the, the things that is mm, put upon us, uh, like a lightning bolt out of the blue, it might be a little shocking at times. So if that should be one of your experiences uh, here, especially in the area of career this month, 
just trust it when it comes. You may not know where it's going to take you, where it's going to lead you, because it was outside of your control, right? But it's one of those times when we want to just be like a child, be very open and innocent and ask like, wow, what's going to come from this, right? That's when you can start learning how to roll with Uranus, that change is good, it's not negative. Change is exciting, uh, not fearful. Um, but the energy of you, I see that you're, a lot of you here with the Sun and Neptune uh, in your ninth house uh, here in, um, uh, not just March, I, I'd like to say here February too. A lot of you have already been anticipating this change to come. It's like I see that some of you, uh, in fact many of you, have started to position yourself towards that change. So you should be in a good shape. Uh, the sun right now is, uh, at least for the first three weeks, in a place where it would like to um, prepare itself. I, I see researching, grasping for knowledge, insights, and so forth. And a, a lot of what you might be uh, researching right now is what is going to help you when you get to this new stage of whatever it is that's changing in your career field. Now, we also have the new moon in this area of the ninth house, which is classes, it's education, it's research, but it's also connecting with people at faraway places, at distance, foreign countries, people and places, traveling. So some of you might even be traveling this month and having the new moon here. I love it in the ninth house because it's the house of adventure. It's the Sagittarian house, uh, which is very free-spirited and always looking at the big picture. And that's what you want to do this month here too, Cancer. Look at the big picture of what's going on in your life uh, because things are just starting to unfold as all these planets are moving on top of your chart, which is really what you've worked for all year as it was, you know, circling around the bottom of your chart, but they're all up here right now. So I feel you can gain some recognition for, for the work, the hard work and effort that you've been putting in. And this new moon, it's at the very last degree, actually only seconds away from moving into Aries. So it's 29 degrees, 52 seconds um, here in Pisces. And the new moon, as we know, it's the tent down intentions uh, so that you could really mm, encode yourself for the coming months that this is what you want to create space and room for. And uh, it's a powerful new moon because we have a total solar eclipse on the very same day. March 20th, put that on your calendar, okay? And it's sitting right there on your midheaven point. That's the cusp of the 10th house in career. So you'll see how these two are actually uh, synergizing, coming together as one powerfully here on the 20th. But when we speak about calendars, by the way, uh, Cancer, uh, what I'm doing differently this month, uh, I'm going to talk about the planets, the houses that they're in, uh, what they mean, what you can expect, but then I'm going to do a separate video, which is the calendar of March, so you can get that reading all on its own, and uh, like last month, it was pretty quiet. We didn't have too many transits going on. Um, this month, though, we got 16 dates to look at in March. Boom, 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 it's going to be a busy month, <laughs> right? So you want to know which dates, uh, when to uh, lay low, when to act out and take advantage. We have uh, a lot of great, beautiful aspects uh, that I'm going to go through. And then there's those that can be a little bit more challenging. And it's good to know them and prepare for them. So I'm going to put up a, a video link at the end of this video. So see it all the way through to the end. So make sure that you get the calendar reading for March. So uh, yes, travel might be important. In that case, it could be uh, both long distance or also short distance, whether you execute these uh, journeys right now or make plans for them. That could be uh, either way. But uh, we have that new moon in that ninth house. We kept the full moon on March 5th in your third house, that's short distance travel, out of town, uh, maybe a day trip or two, uh, this full moon will illuminate this third house for you. 
And it being in the sign of Virgo, well, we know Virgo loves to think and overthink, uh, to organize. So having the moon illuminate this area for you, it also relates to neighbors, siblings, your closer community. Uh, some of you might see that this full moon will actually illuminate you in what you can do a little extra here for your community or your siblings and interacting uh, with them here in March. Jupiter is still doing its magic in your financial house. It is still retrograde. This is the last month of the retrograde. It will move direct in April. More about that in ne next month's reading. Um, but hopefully by now, because we're a few months into this retrograde cancer, that some of you have now come to see how it's actually behooved you that it did retrograde, did go back in, look at things that might have been uh, overseen um, here earlier, you know, last year when it was moving direct because then you were probably so busy, you know, doing things over here, being very engaged there, that maybe some opportunities might have slipped you by. Retrograde helps us to go and redo those things. And I feel since it's Jupiter, well, it's only of all the good for you. So we have that, and then we have news about Saturn. Saturn will turn uh, retrograde this month on March 15th. And what does that mean? Well, it has, since December, moved into your sixth house, the new area. It's given you a sense and a feel of what it is going to do for you over the next two and a half years. Uh, so you get a little taste of it. It's currently four degrees. It's going to move back into your fifth house for children and romance and uh, maybe the businesses that you own. Uh, the challenges uh, that you've had over the last two and a half years, Saturn's wanting to help you go back, tie up whatever loose ends there might have been uh, within those areas, and also to bring along with you missed opportunities uh, too. Uh, and so if something comes to you from the past, now over the next four to five months, you want to pay attention to it. Uh, Saturn will bring light to it so that you can bring that with you into this new 28-year cycle. So that's all good. Um, yeah, Mars is going to be quite dynamic. Mars is the men in your life, but it's also your physical drive and energy as well. And uh, it's more pursuant. It, it's, uh, I won't say power hungry, but it is goal hungry, <laughs> wanting to reach its goals. Uh, and it won't, you know, have you dragging. I, in fact, I see you up and running all month as it's passing through this area. Next month, it's changing signs. But so for you, it's all about initiating the new things that you want, the things that you've been working for cancer. Power is on your side. You will speak and be heard. You will speak and be seen. It's a time for you now to really radiate and shine in the area of your overall goals and ambitions. Uh, so I'm really excited to see that. And then, of course, both Venus and uh, Mars will be touching, like I said, on uh, Uranus. So that could be the changes you create. It could be the changes that will be bestowed upon you unexpectedly. Um, we have that mid-month here, March. So, yeah, that will come up in the calendar forecast. So do listen to it. Um, but this Venus will be chasing what it wants until the 18th. So you will see yourself kicking into speed, and that's all good. Uh, from the 18th, Venus is going to ingress into Taurus, into your 11th house for social networking, more time to spend with friends, uh, signing up with groups and organizations, being a little bit more active on your social media, for example. Uh, so until the 18th uh, March, uh, it's about work and your career. After March 18th, it's going to be more social time. So at least you have that divide right there. So that is what we have here for you in this reading. So you want to listen to your moon rising sign, that of your partners to know what's going on with him or her. And then now I'm taking you to the link where you can listen to your March calendar. And then also, if you haven't already earlier signed up now for your newsletter, there's a link that can take you directly there as well. And I will see you next month. Bye now, Cancer.